Okay, everybody. Uh, thank you for tuning in today. Uh, no, this is not really me. I <laughs> know it actually is, but I'm doing this on Thursday before I go into the hospital tomorrow. I want to thank all of you for your encouragement and your prayers and all the good stuff. And tomorrow is bringing me happy surgery, get things back to where they were, were once, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> and I do want to remind you, get your mammogram. I'm not going to drone on about this forever and ever, but I do know some of you have been remiss. And because of what's happened here, you've gotten checked. And guess what? You have cancer and now it's being treated. And one of the great things about breast cancer, if there's something to be said about breast cancer, is that it is one of the most treatable cancers out there. And I am a witness to that. Okay, so before we get to our today's interview with Robin Long, I have to show you what went on yesterday or the day before. We had this redwood in the backyard that is massive, okay? But because of the drought and because we messed with the roots maybe poof, maybe 20, 15, 20 years ago, it, it died. Now, it started to come back because of all the rains. And I think I've mentioned this before, that redwood is one of the few trees that will generate, regenerate itself. But right when the tree company called up and said, okay, the field is dry enough, we can take it out because we came through the back. So it wasn't so hard for them to do because they needed a bucket truck. I said, but it's starting to come back green. And he said, he said, it'll never be the same. Okay, so I take a big swallow, and here they are taking it down bit by bit by bit. It's really quite impressive. And I believe I have mentioned this before, but the reason this is so difficult for me is that in the valley, what, 60, we'll see this house was built in 68, during that time, and they still do today, they were giving children at school saplings and they were planting them to get the valley filled with trees. And so we little, little saplings. And what we didn't take an account for is that redwoods hate it here. It's just too dry. So I thought that's probably, it was called the Johnny Seed effect. And I think, I thought probably that's what this was. And when it was down, I counted the rings and yes. And I put this in to show you the size of this massive tree. I, I, I mean, it's just, it's huge. You couldn't even put your arms, maybe three people could put their arms around it and take it down. So now the stump grinder person has to come. I want to get that out. That's what Cindy said to do at Alden Lane. And it wasn't as painful as I thought when it was out. I love that tree because we back onto a field and there are other trees back there. So you have this beautiful look out over the gate. Okay, so here's another story. And I made this quilt for William when he, before he was born, okay? And his bedroom was a nautical theme. And my friend Lois was here and her grandson, Isaac, is really into boats and ships. And I said, okay, I've got the quilt for you. And of course, there's no pattern for it, but I, I could draft it out for her and we could make sense of it. And then all of a sudden, I, oh, and it was quilted by Angela Walters, you can tell. I was, uh-oh, I saw the mistake. And once you see the mistake, you can't unsee it. Do you guys see the mistake? <laughs> Well, there it is on the left-hand side, <laughs> going vertical, <laughs> that white strip. No, there's not one on the right-hand side. I just was like, oh, and again, once you see it, you can't unsee it. So people, it happens. <laughs> it happens. So anyways, Robin Long, we wanted to get this video, this out to you because the uh, summer project is coming up very, very soon, and Robin has done a really bang-up job in what she's presenting to us. Now, when I was recording this with her, she's way out in the sticks in the northwest, like way out in the sticks. She, her satellite is not great. And so it's a little herky-jerky, but her voice is clear, and we could do it 10 times, and it would still be the same thing. And this information is so 
valuable. So let's take a look, see. I am very excited about this project, which will be starting up in July. Let's go. Hello, Robin Long, how are you? I'm great, Alex, how about you? Couldn't be better, couldn't be better. Uh, first of all, I wanna tell everybody that you're coming from a very remote area um, on the Pacific Northwest. So you're gonna be a little herky-jerky, right? Yeah, sorry about that. Best I can do today. Well, it is what it is, right? Um, and I, exactly. this is very, very important that we get this out to everybody because you are our summer project. And I'm very, very excited about that. I am too. So, so uh, it's you were on the quilt show and you were show number 3109, correct? Yes, I was. Yes. That's what I say. <laughs> and and we were just uh, bowled over by how dynamic your quilts are, but they're not difficult to make. You promise us that? I do promise you. They're, they're not difficult. My method is just different. So you have to learn my method and a ruler. Mm -hmm. But once you get that part down, then the process makes what I do a lot easier. And I got to share with everybody that I was coming home from some place and I stopped into Wooden Gate in Danville and there you were with your husband <laughs> and, and you were like, you just took this quilt and just on the table and we all <gasps> stepped back. You know, sometimes when we're taping, it's hard to really appreciate everything because there's so many things that we're worried about, you know? So yeah, no. True. That was that was a fun serendipity day. <laughs> Absolutely. So so hey, let's take a look at a couple of the quilts that were on the show that day, and you can tell us about them. And okay. everybody, I'm just gonna kind of cover both of this yeah. up, so that, so that poor Robin doesn't have okay, to worry good. about this. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Well, uh oh, that's not good. There we go. Tell us about this, Miss Robin. Yeah, this one's called Eden's Flower, and um, I love to do medallion style quilts or mandala style some people might call them but so um what my tool does what my method is they're strip pieced mariner's compass blocks so i take those blocks and i mix them with traditional quilt elements just to create fun new designs things that you probably wouldn't maybe associate with a traditional Mariner's Compass project. So this one was called Eden's Flower. Well, and I think the other two is that we have to appreciate how not afraid of fabric and color you are. I mean, you just dig <laughs> in and have at it, right? I love color and I'm lucky I get to work with several fabric companies. I get to um, work with their new fabric lines and that's really um, fun just to play with those fabrics and to put them together into um, really colorful projects and I always pick I think the most colorful fabrics. So. And I'm going to tell everybody this too that when you are working with a line and we didn't even talk about this before it's 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 not for someone faint of heart because typically in my opinion there's a light there's mediums and there's a dark so you don't have a lot of the range because everybody wants to buy the mediums right exactly yeah and with my projects you really need contrast to have those points pop so yeah. it can be a little bit difficult sometimes but i it's like a big puzzle and i love figuring it out i love it Okay. Oh, I love this quilt so much. I love this quilt so much. Yeah, this is called Rose Window. And I actually started this the day that Notre Dame was burning down. Um, it's, it's sort of my version of the Rose Window there. I thought those windows would be lost forever. Fortunately, they weren't. But this has been um, a very popular pattern too. And you'll note here too, like the windows that go around the perimeter, mm -hmm. um, those are made using a facing technique. And I use that a lot in my quilts and um, we'll use it a little bit in the project that we'll be talking about. Okay, cool. You really are a teacher, Robin, right? I mean, really, <laughs> that's your heart. People say that, people think I'm a yeah. good teacher. So yeah, that's good. This one's for Elon. Um, this is just a mix of um, different uh, compass block sizes, right? Um, my rulers make 16 sizes of blocks. So it's fun because you can 
make a, a lot of different sizes and then put them together in just creative ways. So, so for Elon is Elon Musk. My daughter works at SpaceX, so um, <laughs> that's why uh, we have a for Elon quilt. Oh, hey, so the tech, once we learn the technique, is it applicable to say all these different stars we're looking at here? Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, once you learn how to use my ruler, um, there's two styles. The one for this project is a fat called Fat Robin, but I also have a Skinny Robin, but it's the same exact method to make both. So once you learn my ruler, you can, yeah, you can do any. Awesome. And you designed the ruler. Of course you did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. Why? <laughs> okay. I remember, I remember seeing this one and this one just knocked my socks off. Tell us about this piece, please. Yeah, this is called Tarnish Star. And so, yeah, this is a really great example. I love to mix, again, my compass blocks with other traditional quilt elements. So, of course, you see the lone star there that I have my nested blocks inside of. Um, and then I've just used um, other elements, half compasses, quarter compasses. And then the applique that you see is using that facing technique that I talked about. So um, wow. just a fun explosion of color, yeah. Wow, because look at, okay, I'm looking at, uh, you know, one o'clock, five o'clock, seven o'clock and 11 o'clock. Those wispy pieces are faced applique? Yes, yes, they are. So this is a large quilt. This is a queen size quilt. So those pieces are fairly good size. Uh -huh. But yeah, they're just faced. I like to, I like the facing technique because once you have it um, put together, you have a stable piece to put into your quilt, to applique onto your quilt. And by the way, all my applique is by machine. I just use either a straight stitch or a hem stitch. Yeah. Certainly you can hand applique if you want, but um, I, I try to make it facing. doable. I love facing, love facing. Okay, yeah. um, and machine applique. So yeah. <laughs> this is a newer piece of yours. Yeah, this is called Trip Around the Sun, and um, I made this sort of in honor of um, Kaif's 85th birthday. These are all Kaif facet fabrics, but again, mixing my compass blocks with other uh, traditional um, quilt elements, so um, Trip Around the World. And a little secret about this quilt is it's really my birthday quilt, because if you count the discs that go around the border, uh -huh. um, that's how old I turned this year. <laughs> I'm taking it off right now so people can't count. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So it's interesting. We've got a good stream of video going here. So that makes me very happy. Okay. Yeah, good. So here we go to, let's see the next one. I got to tell you, Robin, when I was, oh, when I was looking at all this stuff, it was just, it was just um, candy for the eyes. Oh, I love this one. Oh, yeah. So this is my newest quilt. This is called Flower Power. Um, this is made with a new um, fabric line by Anna Maria Horner um, called Brave, but this has been just really popular. So um, again, kind of a, a medallion style quilt. There's a little fussy cutting in here. Um, this is actually a sew along on my website. So I provide videos on my website if people wanted to um, get more um, help in making this. That's um, another way that they can learn how to use my rulers. Is that is that already residing on your website right now or is it coming? It is right oh. now. Yeah, current okay. right now. And the pattern's available on my website too if people okay. are interested. Okay, cool. So. Okay, here we go. Now, yes, here we go. Woohoo! Robin said this. yes. So here's what she has brought to us. Tell us about your your vision, your thought, your dream. Yeah. So when they when you guys came to me, I was really excited, and they were wanting to do a summer project. So I had to really kind of put my brain to work um, to come up with something that was you know doable over three months and that would really introduce you know my techniques to people. So. What I came up with, it's called Summer Bloom Winter Wreath. And so what you see on the left is um, a 60 by 60 inch quilt with, as you can see, the medallion in the middle. And the medallion that we make that uh, in the Summer Bloom is the same medallion that you see there in Winter Wreath, but Winter Wreath can be made into a tree skirt. 
So it's the, really the same project. If you're feeling summery, you can make a fun summer quilt, but if you wanna get ready for the holidays, you can whip out that tree skirt, or you can make both um, if you really wanted to. And, and it's the same technique. Okay, now I lost which slide we're at. So let's just, let me hit one and see where we're at. Up oh, there, yep. not bad. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these fabrics, when they came in to the shop, we were all just dr drooling, just drooling yeah. over them. Yeah, so you guys are gonna be kidding each of these, the summer <laughs> bloom and the winter wreath. So these are the skews or the, the fabrics that are in summer bloom from the Kate Facet um, collective from the February collection. And yeah, I mean, Kate's fabrics are just fabulous. It's just fun to work with all the color. And, and so it, they just seem very summery to me. So that's what went into summer bloom. And, and and I believe that you have the option of getting the background or not. Ladies in the store, don't kill me if I'm wrong on this. But I believe yeah. you know, we, we've tried to make it as versatile for everybody as possible. Okay. Right. We're going to concentrate on the medallion. And that, that's the important part. After that, it's right. up to you. Yeah. Right. Now, look at this one. Um, for Christmas, this just made my heart yes. sing. Just, it's well, so when, sophisticated. Yeah, when I saw this line, a Retro Ho-Ho by Renee Nanneman, this is by Andover, um, I just thought it's just very traditional, but it is retro also at the same time, and um, I just thought it would work perfectly for the... the for I think the it's research. really fresh looking. Yeah. yeah, it is. It is. Okay, so, so tell us about this. Yeah, this is showing the elements. So it's a three month project. So the first month we'll make that top block, which is a, a Mariner's compass block, a traditional fat Robin Mariner's compass. And there's also the first month. So I have video tutorials that you guys will be showing for making mm -hmm. this whole quilt. But that first month before you make the block, you'll make a practice block. So I've got videos to make your practice and then to make that block. And then the second block, the middle there is a round sunflower. So that's a variation. It's a compass variation. And that's what you'll be making the second month. And then you'll combine those two at the end of the second month. And then the third month, we'll make that, I call it a Dresden band. So it's really um, Dresden templates um, or Dresdens and um, an inside band. And then we'll be adding some petals to the outside, which I didn't get in that picture now that I'm looking at it, sorry. But um, we'll do that and do the finishing. There's some little petals that go in between. We'll see it in the next picture, okay. sorry. I think I just... Yeah, same here. I missed the little red petals. I guess I was just Robin. that element out. But, <laughs> I, you know but what? you can see. This, this, this goes <laughs> under the category of if you don't tell them, they don't know. So I you, know. you didn't Nobody just hear that. <laughs> I just looked at them. I'm like, oh, those petals are missing. But I just am trying to show people it's the same three things that were the, over sure. the three months, the same blocks, and then we'll put them together. So we'll show you here, I think, and there's some slides coming up. There you go. Now you can see around those Dresden seeds, oh, blue, I dark see. blue petals. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the actual finished quilt. And so that's what wasn't showing, but that'll also be in the third month. Did you do all this, these graphics yourself and stuff? And I mean, I'm, I'm pretty impressed here, lady. Yeah, well, I do. I, you know, I started this venture in 2015. And the first thing I had to do was start to learn Adobe, uh, the Adobe suite. And I've gotten a lot better. But boy, that was a huge learning curve. But um, I'm glad that I did it. Um, yes. Because it really makes life easier to be able to illustrate and show people what I do. Exactly. Yeah. And I think, uh, yeah. oh, there we go. Let's go to the next one. Yeah. And this is the actual finished tree skirt. Um, so <clears throat> you make the medallion, um, there is a hole in the middle because my blocks, my raw blocks have a hole in the middle anyway. So we just leave it there, uh -huh. um, split it at the end and add some binding. And that's actually adhered to, or put on top of, um, a piece of felt. So, and then it's quilted to the felt, right? Right. Um, and so that's what finishes it into the tree skirt. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, I could just as much love this as a wall hanging too. Yes. So you got that option, right? Yeah, I think we have a slide to show next, maybe. Yes. There you go. 
So if you wanted to, this fabric, this is how I, you know, sort of imagined it. And I think you could get that background fabric if you wanted to um, make it into a I, I believe so, too. Again, we're either yeah. going to be in so much trouble or, or we'll be <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll wait and see what happens. Exactly. Okay. So, oh, I, okay, you shared this with me, and this made my heart very happy as we were setting up. Yeah, so the pattern will come with your kit. And the pattern, and I think you can buy the pattern separately. As I well. believe so, you yes. You use your own fabrics. But the pattern has both summer bloom and winter wreath in the same pattern. So you can make one or the other or both, um, and you'll have everything that you need to make either right there. So, Robin, if somebody were like really, once somebody gets through and gets their brain twisted in the right direction, <laughs> yes. Are these, these don't take that long to make, do they? They really don't. Um, you know, um, usually when people get my ruler and try my method, the first block, their practice block, they usually say takes an hour and a half, two hours, whatever. You know, they're going really yeah. slow. Yeah. Um, I, I can make a 12 inch block. Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. I can make a 12 inch block in a half an hour. A mariner's compass block in a half an hour. Now you are the teacher. She's the teacher, I people. <laughs> I know. No, that's true. But I'm just trying to, and you'll only get faster, right? Yeah. Once you understand my method and truly it is strip piecing. So you just use strips of fabric and my ruler to kind of shape those strips as you go and you make, you know, bigger elements. And then those elements go together to make your compass. So so, so yeah, and all of that will be in the tutorials. Exactly. I will and, break and it, it down very slowly. Yeah. And here's the and ruler. Is, yeah. So this is the Fat Robin um, book and ruler. It comes packaged together and all of this will be on your guys' website. Um, but that ruler makes compass blocks and those other variations that you see there on the cover kind of down the right makes any of those blocks in 16 sizes. So sometimes people look at that ruler and they see all those lines and it scares them. Yeah. But it's not it's not scary. It's just that you can make 16 sizes. So you're really just pay, breaking it down to the two lines for your size. And I learned once um, when you have something with multiple sizes, even when people are learning to rotary cut, you can take like a little piece of tape yes. or something or post-it note or whatever to keep you exactly great so i'm yeah, really that's a great idea any any little thing like that that you can do to help you keep track of your lines i think is perfect so um how much are you traveling and teaching and all that good stuff well when i'm done here with you today i'm getting in the car and traveling to do a guild um tonight and tomorrow so i'll be doing that and then, yeah, I'm still traveling quite a bit. I'll be then going on a tour through Montana and Idaho in July. Um, yeah, so I keep I keep pretty busy at this. Do you do you hit the any of the major shows? Or are you more guild oriented or both? Um, well, I've been you know with COVID kind of changed yeah. things a little bit. You know, I haven't been doing quite as many. I do Houston. I'm always going to be there at Houston. Um, and um, I oftentimes do quilt con. I didn't do that last year. I've done road to California. Um, I teach at empty schools. I'll be there in 2024. Um, so that's a, a great way to find me too. But that's cool. Yeah, I just, um, yeah, I'm just here in um, Eastern Washington State. You know, I design my patterns here and do that work and then travel when I can. Well, I want to just thank you from the bottom of our hearts that you said yes. And thank yeah. you for putting this together. Everybody, just pay attention. Kits will be up for sale very, very soon. I think we're waiting on one fabric or something like that. I think that's, I don't know. I don't know. But we plan to get started with this ASAP. Yeah, I think it's going to start in July. It sounds like to me. So It I sounds think like to me, too. Getting
Yeah, getting that all up and running. So July, August, September, which is perfect for a summer project. So, exactly, exactly. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. And I think I'll be um, coming back to talk a, a little bit before every month, just talking a little bit more about the specifics. But excellent. Um, no, I'm, I'm very excited about this. Hey, um, thank you so much. I'm going to say right now, drive safe. Thank you. Drive safe. Send my regards to the guild. Okay. I will. And, I will. And 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 tell them about this. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to for sure. Yeah. No, I will for sure. Okay. Awesome. Have a great rest of the day. Again, be safe. I will. Thanks, Alex. Great chatting with you. Thank you. Isn't she just a delight? I think she would be so much fun to take a class from in person, but we get her here at thequiltshow.com. So if you've just stumbled on this, what I would suggest you do is go to thequiltshow.com and sign up for our newsletter. It's free, all right? And what you need to know is that you can become a paid member of thequiltshow.com. It's 49 bucks a year or something like that, and you have access to all the shows, the BOM, I mean, it goes on and on and on. Those people we call star members. And the reason I bring that up, people, is because we, we the, the kits are going to be limited, all right? It was really difficult getting fabric. And as uh, she said, or I said, or whatever, I think we're still waiting on one fabric. But when you see in your newsletter that it's time to get a kit, don't delay of course you can work with your own fabric. Of course, if, it, if that didn't float your boat, they floated mine, you can work with your own stuff. But we've got the, the, the patterns, we got the ruler, but if you want the kits, don't delay. So, a little, a little birdie told me that I'm just fine. <laughs> I'm just fine. I am not sure when I'll be back. I got to guarantee you I have to be able to wash my hair and think straight. I think the recovery for the reconstruction is going to be much easier than the uh, double mastectomy. And I'll tell you one funny thing. I can't believe I'm saying this. I can't believe it, but we're friends, right? So when, when the uh, plastic surgeon described what was going to happen here, he mentioned liposuction liposuction I said, I said i said where are you taking it from and he goes wherever you want and i said hey listen when you get in there take what you need but take some out for the team <laughs> we'll see what he does ah, happiness <laughs> so have a wonderful week i wish i were here in person i love you guys i love your faithfulness your kindness your words and all that but um just Stay tuned because this is going to be fun. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.